The sampler is one of the most interesting ways to get sounds into GarageBand here on our iPhone or our iPad, but it can be a really tricky sound to edit. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how I edit sampler tracks here in GarageBand. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete and this is Studio Live Today where I help you create, record and release your best music. And if you've used the sampler track, you may have found once you get to the editing stage, it does get pretty tricky. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how I use our old friend, the merge function to edit a sampler track here in GarageBand. Let's dive in now. All right, so I'm up in the sand dunes to reduce the noise. So hopefully the sound of the ocean is pleasant as opposed to distracting. Let's get into this track though. So I've started playing around with a track here using the new transition effects pack. And if you haven't checked that one out, I've got a video about that, which I'll link up above and down below right now. But at the moment, the track sounds a bit like this. And what I want to do is I want to add a sampler track to this, but then I want to be able to edit the sampler track and chop it up and make it sound a bit different. So that's what I'm going to do now. What we're going to do is first of all, tap on the plus button and we're going to tap on the sampler here in the bottom of our keyboard instrument. Now, if you haven't used the sampler before, I've got a complete video all about this, just the sampler, which I will link up above and down below as well. But what we can do is that we can record our own sample by hitting the start button, or we can import a sample from anywhere we like. If we tap the import button, we can import from our Apple loops, our files, and our music as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring in this daylight guitar FX. Let's just tap it to preview it. and tap again to stop. So if I tap the little down arrow with the box here, this is gonna import this sample right here into my sampler. And here it has loaded this sample into our sampler. Now there's some editing we can do here. We can change the shape, which is our fade in and our fade out of this sample. We can tune it, which we'll do in just a moment. And we can trim the sample by cutting at the start and at the end. And I show all of these in the other video. But what I do need to do is ensure that this sample is tuned so that it's in the same key as the song here. So to do that, we are gonna select tune here and then we're going to tap on the note. And you can hear the difference between that tone and our sample. Now we'll reset this back down to zero. And it sounds like we're about a tone down. Let's just put ourselves up a tone. Yep, that's about right. So that has tuned our sample so that it's going to play nicely with all of the other samples in this track. So let's hit record now and I'm gonna record in my sampler part for this song. that's done you may have noticed that I left it in tune mode so we heard that little bong as we played along as well which we didn't really want but that's okay we'll come back to our track view mode now here is what this sampler track looks like if we solo it in here you can see as we go along it's just a very simple pattern we only actually change the note one time here but obviously we can use all of the different notes on the keyboard if we wanted to the thing to keep in mind with a sample is that it will change the speed of the sample so you don't want to go sort of a whole lot of octaves difference or it's going to sound a bit strange but this is what we've got now. Now, what we can do is we can come in here to our edit window. We can tap, we can tap edit, and then we can edit this in our piano roll just like we would any other keyboard instrument. But the problem is that because the sample triggers at the start here, that is the only thing that really matters is where it starts and where it finishes. We don't have any other control over this. And what a lot of folks want to do is what if I want to chop this sample down the middle, or I want to make it sort of a, a chopped synth kind of sound, or I want to move it around, or I want to reverse I want to do a bunch of other things. Well, that's where we, our friend, the merge function comes back in. So let's show how we can do that now. So to use our merge function, we tap right here on the icon of the instrument. We tap on merge, and then we get the option here to select which tracks we want to merge. We're going to tap on the merge button in the top right corner, and it's going to duplicate our song. So we've got a backup, and then here is our merge track, and it's turned it into an audio recorder track. Now, you can see here clearly that I've made a bit of a mistake here. I've had really low velocity on these first two hits and higher up on these two. So I probably should have fixed that beforehand, but that's okay. Let's just listen to the solo now. So that's what they sound like at their lower volume and the higher volume ones are a bit like this. 
So I can now use automation, I can use volume control, I can use all of my normal editing tools to change the volumes around, but I can also edit these by using some splits and using some movement around. So what I actually wanna do is let's come in here to this second lot and what we're going to do is tap and we're going to split and an effect that i like to use is a chopped sound so we're going to zoom in here and this is going to take a little bit of precise editing but we're going to tap on each quarter beat and we're going to split right on the quarter beats here so yes you have to be a little bit careful i'm on the iphone here it's easier on the ipad but we're going to split all of these just right on there for this part here and then what we can do is we can delete, so we'll tap and we'll delete, we'll tap and we'll delete the second two. So now let's put this back in the mix and let's listen to what this transition sounds like into this second section. And yeah, so it probably doesn't sound great with this particular sound, but then you'll probably ahead of me on this one, let's not move our drum track. We can do a similar sort of thing at any sort of level. So it takes a little bit of touch and, and go and a little bit of fiddling, but what if we wanted a real sort of split chopped sound where well, we can get that by coming in and really splitting this down and obviously once you've split and once you've edited you can move these around you can reverse them you can do all of our other editing tools and you want to learn more about editing i've got videos all about that which i will link up above and down below let's just do one more of these just so that you get the idea so now we can come in here let's just delete out every second little hit like so and like so and let's just play back this section now So yeah, obviously I'd want to do more of that and continue that along, but you can get the idea here that we've got complete control now here. We can do other things. We can tap and go to our settings. We can loop these. We can reverse them. We can have all of the control that we have with any other audio track with our sampler track. So yes, you lose the ability to decide which sample it is and where you hit it. So you've got to get all of that right up front, but then you can do all of this as well. One final thing before we go, you can also use the FX track to do a similar thing. So we can use FX if we wanted to perform in live and do our chops our repeats our other things and our filters that we wanted to do in here we can do all of that live with the effects track and i show that in another video including how to put effects on just one track so check those out in the description below and that is going to do it i hope you find this useful if you've been struggling with the sampler track trying to edit and chop up those samples and change them around just by merging them into an audio recorder track you get a whole bunch more flexibility thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next video Hey, thanks for sticking around. If you'd like to check out some more videos here on the channel, there are two linked right down below. You can also subscribe to the channel by clicking or tapping in the top right or head to studiolivetoday.com for even more audio goodness. Time for a swim?